Hi everybody, it's Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. Oh man, do I have a fun one for you today. 2024 BMW M4 X-Drive Convertible Competition Edition. And you can see there, Erica, she was putting the top down while she was coming up here, which is very cool. It takes 18 seconds up or down, and you can do it um, while you're cruising around the neighborhood if you want, up to 31 miles per hour. So very, very cool. But check out this color. Drab it, gray metallic, and you got the Fiona, um, what is it, the red, black, merino leather on the inside. I'm telling you guys, this car here is the ultimate driving experience. I mean, listen, hey, all you enthusiasts out there, all you BMW lovers, all of you that have had M's, M3's, M8's, M4 coupes, think about how much fun you had up in the canyons, in the valleys, through those windy roads. Think about an abandoned straight line road you just launched that car on. Now think about doing it with the top down. This thing is just insane. And then the space in this car. I mean, it's gotten four and a half inches longer than the previous generation. And then as you just saw with the top, You've got the uh, rag top, if you want to nickname it, coming back here. And guess what? It's 40% less weight. What does that do on this kind of car? Drops that center of gravity a little bit. And then what does that do for any enthusiast race car driver? The lower the center of gravity, the more fun you can have. So let's get, you know, I could talk about this thing for hours, I think. Let's get into the stats. Now the car is 189 inches long. It's 74 inches wide, 55 inches tall. You've got a 112 wheelbase, and then curb weight is 4306. But check this out. BMW has gotten this car so well balanced front to rear, you're only talking a difference of 1% weight ratio from front to rear, which is just amazing. You think about a 4,300-pound car, 1%. What is that? 43 pounds? I mean, seriously, that is amazing, especially with how much this thing weighs and how long it is. Now, also, it's stretched out. It got a little longer. Um, the tracks, you got about a half an inch wider track in the rear. And then let's show you the back stance on this bad boy. But also, too, now height-wise, clearance underneath, you only got about 4.8. So please be careful pulling up to parking blocks and curves. Don't get that front bumper, man. That thing looks awesome. But check out those that stance back there. You got some nice performance non-run flat tires on here. And then check out the wheels. Now this setup they have here is a 19 by 9.5 up front, and you got a 20 inch by 10.5 in the back. These are the uh, M double spoke black wheels style 826M and they're running staggered, which is great. Um, and then look at those brakes. Yeah, you got some M compound brakes on here. You got a single floating uh, caliber system in the back with 370 millimeters in the back. And then in the front here, you got a six piston fixed caliper setting with 380 millimeters in the back. <laughs> Man, some amazing wheels. They've just been killing it. But check out that paint job and the lights, the stand. Look at all the detail in the back bumper back here. Look at those quad 100 millimeter pipes sticking out the back. I mean, this thing's just begging to be driven like a maniac. And the one thing I love the most, that MX Drive intelligence system that they have in here. And guys, we have settings for virtually anything and everything in this car. I mean, you've got M Adaptive Differential in here. You've got, uh, I think, three settings with the X Drive. So you have a standard four wheel drive system, which is still a rear wheel bias setup, obviously, because of the benefits of that. But then you have a four wheel drive sport mode, which even is going to throw more to the rear. And then you can definitely put it into a full on two wheel drive mode if you turn off the stability systems. Now, you better be a good driver when you put it into that two wheel drive because you're not going to get any help um, when the situation gets crazy. So please don't drive over your limits. Please follow all laws in states and federal for speed limits. You know, that's something I got to say. Be safe, please. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at the front of this car. 
And we do have an amazing S58 engine underneath the hood. We'll go over in just a minute. What do you guys think, man? I know it's been years, but that grill has definitely grown on me. Thing looks mean, it's a statement. You know when you see these cars, you gotta take a double take. And this one's got the laser lights. This one's been upgraded with a few different options. We got laser beams on this car. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but what a great look, isn't it? Hey, how about we do some rev time? You're probably tired of me babbling. What do you think, Erica? Oh, it's great, I love this car. <laughs> it's awesome, huh? Okay, let's do some rev time. Man, that is so nice. Woo! Man, you just hit it out of the park with this car, BMW. Thank you so much. You ready, Erica? Let's show them the power plant. Uh, like I said earlier, we got an S58 under heat here. This car, this engine is awesome. Hey, Erica, how's it going? Doing great, having fun today in this thing, huh? And look at all the supports, guys. I'm telling you, this being a convertible, this thing's built like a brick, man. The rigidity is just unbelievable. As we know, we don't have the cage technology. We don't have all that safety from A pillars, B pillars, and a, you know, a, a stationary roof. So, you know, they've got to reinforce everything, especially with the torque and the horsepower and the capabilities of this engine with this car, especially with the chassis. So you can see there's a lot of supports here. Now you've got in here is a three liter M twin turbo, excuse me, twin power turbo six cylinder, 24 valve, and it's running two mono scroll turbos. You're producing 503 in horsepower, kicking in at 60, uh, let's see, was it 6750, I think, RPMs? And then you got the torque running at 479, and that's kicking in at 2750 RPMs. Actually, I think the horsepower is at 6250 is when you're looking at maxing out on RPMs. Now, it is a high revving engine, guys. This thing goes up to 7200 RPMs before, uh, you know, it starts saying, hello, let's shift gears. <laughs> All right, let's go head back. We'll go with Erica. And this is a true four-seater. You've got lots of space in this car for four adults. Eric is 5'5 five five without the heels or the boots. Let's see how she fits. There we go. And you can see it's easy to adjust the seat. So let's see if we can get this set up a little bit. So it went back to the standard seat. Now you were comfortable where you were. Is that right, yes. Erica, up there? Yes. Okay. So the seat, let's see how much space. And then you can see there's plenty of room back here for her knees. Not true, guys. It's a convertible. You're not going to have a limousine as a convertible. There's only so far you can stretch a back seat out on these cars. But as you can see, you can definitely put four adults if you need to. Not four, six, five, you know, adults, um, but, you know, average height. So you've got that space. You've got the shoulder width. But let's go ahead. But as you can see with the top down, it's very easy to kind of get in. And then Erica can stand straight up. There you go, very easy. We'll pop that back. And then Erica's gonna put the top up for us because I wanna show you some cool things in the trunk. So go ahead and jump in. I'll head to the back. Here we go, let me get my set up here. But man, just love the ground effects on these cars, man. There's so much detail. Now let's take a look at this top again. Glass rear window. Definitely thinking longevity. And they've done some really cool stuff to the, uh, to the roof inside too with these panels. But man, this ground effects, just such a nice job. Rear diffuser set up in the back. All right, let's have Erica pop the trunk there. Okay, so first let's just show you in here. Right now, this is all the space you have permanently. It's 10 and a half cubic feet of storage, but as you can see, it does go way back, clear back to the back seat. But with the top up, let's say you need a little bit more space. You get about three cubic, cubic uh, feet storage more in here. So it's about 13 and a half, but at least this way you get some nice height in case you got duffel bags, big 
you know, uh, luggage, anything like that. You know, maybe for a weekend you're heading out somewhere, I would say definitely use some soft duffel bags, but uh, lots of space. So we'll have Erica pop that shield down. Now, if that shield's up and you try to put the top down, it is not going to do it. It does not want to crush anything you might have in the, in the trunk. All right, let's go ahead and close that up. We'll move over to the sticker. Let's challenge my phone to see if it'll focus. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, we're gonna see, we got this plate of glass in front of us. So we'll play with it for a little bit. I'll let Erica just read off some of the things <laughs> if that's cool. So we have the parking assistance package and the executive package. If you wanted some add-ons, you can get the carbon fiber trim, the neck warmers, which that was a really cool feature in my opinion. Um, and then towards the end there, we also had the Icon Adaptive LED with laser light. And yep. the total suggested retail price is $100,845. Right. And there's our gas mileage. Who really cares? It's an M4. I'm not worried <laughs> about it. It's not why I'm getting the car. And there's your final assembly right there. So perfect. So what we'll do now, let's go head back to the driver's seat. We'll have Erica put down the top. Because in Southern California, why would you ever have the top up, huh? Okay, also want to show you some, while she's putting the top down, just show you some features here. Uh, this button here is one single button for the driver to put down all four windows if you want to. And then you can see you've got all the standard adjustments here. Obviously you can have auto folding and unfolding mirrors set up in the memory, but you have a button for that. You got your seat memory here. Great place for water bottles. As you can see here, trunk release, more storage. And then we got Erica sitting in these awesome M seats mm -hmm. with the neck warmers. But what do you think? How do you like them? Oh, I love it. The seat is very comfortable. I love the red. Yeah. I love a good red interior. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the seat is just really comfortable. It holds really well. Yeah, this way you don't slide around while you're having fun. Let's go ahead and straighten out the wheel. There you go. Perfect. And we got the carbon fiber trim, which looks awesome in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. And then you can look at all the different buttons. This one's got the heated steering wheel. Very grippy, huh? Yes. Okay, let me jump in on the other side. You want to do a little rev time for us? Just a couple? <laughs> Man, I cannot get enough of that, huh? <laughs> All right, and let me give you another shot of the back seat really quick, just so you can see the styling. Oh, one thing, I'll be right back. I wanted to show them where we've got the wind deflector here real quick. Let me click this back in. So to release it, it's right here. You pull this little flap right here, bam, that unlocks it. Let's close the trunk. And then you pull down the back seat. There's your wind deflector right there. Okay, it's in a bag, nicely protected. Lock it in, there we go. Also what's nice too is you can see the two holes across. So it actually has a screen that goes horizontal and then you have the fold up vertical screen protector or that can be folded down. But what is nice is if you're out cruising around, at least you can throw stuff onto the seats because you know you've got a horizontal screen that'll protect stuff from flying out. I wouldn't guarantee it, but if you got some heavy stuff, whatever, something you want to throw in the back seat, you shouldn't have a problem with doing that. And then you can see you got cup holders. You've also got air conditioning adjustments in case it's just too hot out and you got the top up cranking the cranking the AC. All right, let's put this back. Let me jump in. There we go. All right, let's get in. Wow. Okay, and then we got the curved display. BMW's curved display in here. You can see, very nice. A lot of information. And the one thing I gotta say, guys, there's a ton of setting adjustments we can do on an M car these days. Like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, with the uh, M X drive chassis, um, transmission steering, you can even adjust the braking. So there is just, and you've got a lot of easy, quick buttons to get to here, as you can see. But I think if we hit setup right down here, Sorry for the reflection, but you can kind of see that. <laughs> <try to> <laughs> Erica's like, I'm going to duck out. And boy, the, 
I know they tried it. We got that plastic stuff on film on the screen, so it is hard for uh, focusing. But at least you guys can see, I hope you can kind of see all the different setups we can do here and how you can tailor just about every aspect of the car, at least the fun factor and all the cool things that you want to adjust depending on how aggressive you want to be. And then um, you've got obviously the cup holder, storage, wireless charging, all that good stuff there. And then you've got some great storage in the center armrest with even more charging. So just charge, charge, charge everywhere. Um, let's go ahead. Now I thought what would be fun we could do today, because I don't think Erica has done it yet. She gets to do just a little <laughs> bit of launch and have some fun, huh? We did it a couple times earlier and it was just awesome. So we definitely want to show you guys that. I haven't done it in a while and I haven't shot, um, obviously an M car in a while either. So a full lamp so let me scoot back over here man look at those lights so awesome hey thanks for watching so far everybody hopefully like and subscribe and share it on your other social media Woo! <laughs> oh that was awesome I'm telling you try to find another car with that much performance, that much room, being a convertible in that price range with, <laughs> Woo! with that kind of handling, come on, please. This is just too much. Hey, please, if you guys are BMW owners or if you've ever owned a BMW, please tell us what model you had and put it down in the comments. You know what? I want the BMW family. Let's stick together. Let's have fun. Let's have it grow. All the newcomers, please put your car. I don't care if it was a 318 Ti or an M8 Coupe. List your car down there. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Come on. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Hey, I'd like to hear some crazy stories too about you guys having fun in your BMW. So put it down there, man. Let's have a chat. Cool. Let me jump in. We'll go head back to Bob Smith BMW. Oh, there we go. All right. Let me get my seatbelt on. Yeah, and a lot of the settings, guys, you have an M mode. As you can see, the buttons on the steering wheel, nice red sticking right out. So you have different settings that you can have set up. So anytime you're, I'll let you go ahead. Yeah, Put you my ready? head back. Yeah, <laughs> my head back. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, those red buttons on the steering wheel are just ready. Anytime you guys want, you push them, the car is ready to rock. So you could be cruising, then you come up to your favorite windy road up in the valley. Maybe you've got a short on-ramp onto the freeway and you just want to let the car fly. It's so nice. I mean, BMW Motorsport Division has really thought about everything you would want as a performance driver. And then when the top's down like this on a sunny day, what's the temperature right now? It's got to be what, high 60s? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it is beautiful. What is it, 12 o'clock? Yep, 12.45. So nice. It's a gorgeous day to be driving a convertible. That is true. I'm telling you, if you haven't had one, please go to your local BMW dealership or come on by Bob Smith BMW in Calabasas take a convertible out for a drive. Very nice. And you know, and with the longer car and the longer wheelbase, you really do even get a comfortable ride with a 19 inch, 20 inch wheel setup. I mean, it is, it's comfortable. I mean, you know, it's a full on sports car, you know, with a rag top. So, but I mean, for enjoyable rides, heading out to Vegas, heading down to San Diego, um, definitely doable in this car. There we go. You guys, come see Justin, Sam, Scott. Come see all three of those guys in the sales department. They'll definitely take care of you. They've been here for years. Reach out to them. Set up a test drive. Now, with the M cars, you know, they just aren't throwing test drives all over the place, but I think we might have some convertibles, but definitely come in, you know, set up an appointment if you need to, check out online, and uh, definitely let them earn your business. We're gonna pull up here. 
And then we need to ask Erica a very important question. Where can we follow you at? You can follow me at bmw.erica, E-R-I-I-K-A. Awesome, <laughs> cool. All right, let's jump out and give them another little shot out here. Thank you everybody for watching. And here is the ultimate convertible right here, M4 X-Drive. Thanks, Erica. Bye. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye.